Welcome to Live at Five on at five. August 18th. Shannon O'Boyle's here from Kinky Boots. Brand new, brand new Kinky Boots star. She's brand only been there like a few weeks, so we're going to find out what's going on at the, the Hirschfeld. Um, and a little teaser, uh, I just interviewed Boris Rhinus. Oh yeah, how was it? He's as lovely as uh, Miss Trunchbull is horrible. <laughs> and how was his Trunchbull? You saw it last yeah, week. He's so good. Yeah? He's so good. Awesome. He's so terrifying. Cool. But I was a little bit, I thought he might throw me in chokey. Cool. Let me see if I get I am, I am a little bit. I am a little bit naughty after all. Okay. Um, exciting news. Andy Mientis and Michael Arden have I know. So, in London. Well, know, in Barrington House, which is I very swanky. I ran into them. Swanky. I ran into them in London. They were. They did the Harry Potter double oh, day, they did the same okay. day. Yeah. And they were super excited, and I think they were having like seventy people fly over for it's it. It's so. very swish. The Barrington House. They're excited. It's in, the, it's in the UK countryside. And they announced it by Michael tweeting Mr. and Mr. I thought that was cute. But Andy, they've been telling this wedding for a while. Andy talked about it on Show People like last yeah. year. So this has been... So congratulations. Congratulations, to boys. Right now there's a bunch of their friends, I'm sure, wasted. I mean, and they're dancing on the dance floor right, right now. Right? Quite it's past ten. A late night, yes. I'm sure. I, so yeah. have fun. Have fun. They're not watching this, but if you were, have fun. Uh, significant Other has set a uh, Broadway date and also its home. It will kick off previews on February the 14th at the Booth Theatre. No big surprise there. But now this is funny because they haven't announced a cast yet, but the whole but, cast is tweeting photos of themselves saying, yeah. we're doing Significant Other, we can't wait. So it's that case of an awkward conversation with the press agent going, um... They don't have, maybe the contracts aren't signed, maybe. right? That's probably about it, yeah. All right, anyway. I don't know. Anyway. Contract. Um, Brandon Victor Dixon has set his Hampton date. He will begin on Tuesday, August the 23rd. That's next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. I'm, I'm so excited for that. I think he's going to really nail it. He He's incredible. Can, can you and get, I'm excited can, that he's... Can you he's, get me tickets to the room where it happens? I don't, I don't, why are you looking at me? I don't have tickets. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think we all need to go because I, 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 I love this guy and I'm excited he's getting a lot of attention now because he deserves it. Absolutely. Okay, Lindsay Sullivan, because I was busy with Bryce this afternoon. Uh, oh wait, Ian said, things. Ian wants a shout out. So shout out hi, to Ian. Hi, Thanks hi, for Ian. watching. Shout out. All right, so Lindsay Sullivan did today's odds and ends because I was out. Uh, it's a video odds and ends today. I like doing these sometimes, throw them into the mix. Okay. Uh, leading with the Chicago Hamilton cast um, and they're announcing there'll be a ham for ham in Chicago. Go on with it. Oh, oh, cool. I didn't know that. It's pretty cool. Okay. Um, they did a Facebook Live uh, session. Um, Brandon Niederauer, who is in School of Rock, he's the. We did that fresh face yeah, photo of him doing the Jimi Hendrix yeah. pose. Anyway, he did a, a tribute to Jimi Hendrix, Hendrix, Hendrix's 1969 Woodstock performance of the Star Spangled Banner uh, last night at School of Rock. Let's talk okay. about that. Um, and the new Scream Queen season two trailer. Do you is watch Scream Queens? No, do you? I watched it. I watched the whole first season. I loved it. I, yeah. I ate it up. I thought so it was Season so much two fun. begins on September the twentieth. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, this So wait, everyone, season. everyone in our comments wants to talk about the next story. All right, we're, we're getting to the next story. The next story is Tony and Emmy winner Andrea Martin joins Hasbro Live as Pretty Pinkleton, which means she's playing Ariana Grande. Now, here's what I love about this. When she was on Show People, she was talking about, what's the show? She's on Difficult People, right? Yeah. And she, she's hilarious on it. But she told me, I don't understand a word. She's like, I don't understand a word of it. I don't get any of the jokes. I don't know what they're talking about. I just do it. So I feel like she probably had to be explained who Ariana Grande was. I would imagine she has But I love that. I love, I love that, that about, too. That's my favorite thing about it. I think that's a very good thing for Ariana Grande and for all I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, it's awesome. very funny. <laughs> Um, okay, also check out uh, the Fresh Face. Fresh, fresh, I can't speak. Fresh Face. I've been speaking all day, I've been up all day. Uh, fresh Face with, with the Wicked uh, New Fiero, Michael Campano. Of the who, amazing hair. And who I spoke with on Monday when you weren't here and he was so disappointed he ended up with me. I have never <laughs> seen somebody more devastated to be interviewed by me it's ever. It's just because of my hair. He wanted, he, he like spent hours on his hair because he thought he was going to be with you. Well, and he, he doesn't look at his me. Twitter because and I tweeted also, at him to warn him I wasn't going to be there. I was also <laughs> imaging with a bad hair as well. I, I never have good, like I don't, I'm not a good Your hair person. Your hair looks lovely. Like Beth, Beth it's just not quite as hair. high as mine. No, true. Um, and um, Make It Happen, episode four. Uh, Anna Villafani is, oh, yeah. is up. Awesome. So there we go. Oh, we have a new vlogger too. We're going to, you know what? I'm just going to announce it right here. Oh, Why not? Oh, oh. We have a new vlogger starting next week. We have not announced it on the site yet. The new vlogger is, oh wait. Oh no, wrong one. Oh, I really wanted to do it. Ready? All right, I'm sorry. Takes a while. Our new vlogger is. Corbin Blue. He's in Holiday Inn. He's and he's a, it's a high school musical. Okay, and, yeah. uh, and it's blue, not have, blue. I have real problems. Corbin Blue. She's European. Blue. It's spelled like it's P. 
<laughs> anyway, he's our new vlogger, so well, now you know how to I'm say going. it. Bye. Thank you, Imogen. Everybody, please welcome Shannon O'Boyle. Hi. Hi. How are you? So, so nice to meet you. We've never met before. Welcome to Broadway. Thank you. How, well, I mean, you've been on Broadway before. Pretty, pretty but but you're in uh, Kinky Boots. I am. I'm and, in Kinky Boots. And you're playing that... Uh, that shoe obsessed, <laughs> Nicola, is that her name? Nicola. Nicola, yes. Nicola. Nicola. Um, and how is it? I mean, you, you, you're wonderful. like brand new. You've, you've only been there like a few weeks, right? Yeah, this is, uh, last night was three and a half weeks. Wow, um, okay. Very exciting. So what was it, what's it like stepping into a new family like that? And a show that's been running like that, I know that they, they're a tight family over there. It's and very true, but you know what, they were the most welcoming people. Yeah. Who could not have been more open and sweet. Are you, happy to see some are, you <laughs> are you a girl that like immediately kind of like you get intimidated when you step into a new group or are you just sort of like good at like doing your own thing, getting comfortable? I, I, you know what I'd say I get a little shy, yeah. a little intimidated. Yeah. But they, I mean, I was getting ready at my put in and during a put in, nobody else is in costume. Everybody's right. in microphones, but right. they're the only one in costume. Right. So I was getting ready and putting all my makeup on and going, <laughs> <laughs> and I had like seven or eight people come up to my dressing room just to say hi Aww, and meet me sweet. beforehand and nice. words of encouragement and it's just been nothing but lovely, lovely, wonderful people since. And right before you did Legally Blonde, didn't you? Yeah. I was, I was, I was stalking your social media. And Sacramento You were like mean this. Vivian. I was. Mean Vivian with the nice turnarounds. You, <laughs> you must have a nice belty voice. It, I, I with these roles. <laughs> when did you realize that you that you could like what was the first like big belty song you ever did? Like oh, as gosh. a kid or like when you were studying or what was your like go to like Do you know what? I know what it was. It was in a chorus line actually. I never got to do the show actually. Okay. What song? Um, but I was singing at the ballet. Oh. And I really wanted and you to hit play that Maggie. Bit, that, the Maggie <laughs> I really note? really wanted to play Maggie. Yeah, yeah the Maggie yeah. note. Oh, my God. I if you Barbara that Streisand's. Song. Have you heard Barbara Streisand's at the ballet? Have I heard it's that crazy. Song. I actually spent the morning <laughs> listening to the entire album. No. It's on NPR. Everyone go on NPR and you can listen to the whole album. But there's, like, a story for every song. <laughs> Every song has like dialogue and like backstory. I don't know. It's amazing. It's amazing. But anyway, uh, enough about her. She gets she gets in, she gets enough press. She, Somebody she uh, it Anastasia. <laughs> yeah, Anastasia wants to know uh, how old were you when you started acting? I was eleven when I did my first show. I was in the sixth grade. Okay. We did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Amazing. And I played one of a split track of four narrators. So we had. Oh, oh you had to, you broke up the role in sixth grade. <laughs> That's another big belty role, though. <laughs> it's great, though. It's oh fun. wow! So uh, and then somebody else, um, Alec, wants to know what's it like dancing in those boots. I was really nervous the about that. The kinky boots. The kink, kinky boots. The, the kinky boots. <laughs> um, because I tend to trip whilst walking down the street. So <laughs> I was a little bit nervous about that. But they are so well made, so well yeah. built, so comfortable. It just took a little while for the leather to sort of relax. But okay. that was kind of nice because I do this little squat thing. And so when I squatted down in them the first couple of times, I was like, oh, I don't really have to hold myself up. The leather's still tight. I can just sit down in these a little bit. <laughs> now I actually squat. Uh, okay, Max said, what's your dream role? Oh my gosh. Any, um, besides Maggie. Besides and Maggie. Course, Maggie <laughs> I'd like to say that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd like to say that I have like, oh, the one dream role that I've always thought of. I have things that I'm excited about. Okay. Um, I'm really excited for Natasha Pierre coming. Oh, did you see I, it before? I did. Okay, I you're obsessed. It. I love Dave Malloy. I think he is a brilliant, brilliant writer. Mm -hmm. I watched, I, did you see Preludes? Did I see what? Preludes at Lincoln Center. No. I'm so sorry. You should have told me when it was wrong. I should have. I should have told you. Next should have come earlier. We'll get tickets together. <laughs> but I saw that twice and sobbed through it both times. Oh, wow. I think he's brilliant. So um, do, you, do you know him? I don't. Oh, what? Just did. You gotta get involved with it. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe, the next, maybe the next show. But Natasha Pierre is an awesome show. Are you excited to see how they do it on Broadway? I, I mean, can't it's gonna be, wait. It's gonna be crazy. I've got a right? couple friends in it, and I mean, Sam Pinkleton's the choreographer, and he is a joy and a brilliant person, and so I'm so excited to see what So, he does. is your dream role starring in his next musical? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, the one that's been written. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with I like that. that. <laughs> that's a good answer. Uh, uh, okay, uh, are you excited? Oh, yeah, some news came out yesterday about Todd Call, and a lot of people yeah. wonder, are you excited for Todd Call? Have you watched? His, his amazing videos. Yeah. I mean, I, yes. I, ha I haven't watched. <laughs> you haven't. I have them actually have like to. queued up on my computer right now so that I can watch them this week. You I know what? We should actually do a feature like highlighting the best vid because he he's done some amazing like 
crazy videos. I've gotten little little bits and pieces and whatnot, yeah. but I've not had yeah. to watch it start to finish yet. So Noah so. wants to know about onstage mishaps. Doesn't have to be in kinky boots. And what about is, is there any like great onstage mishaps just in life? Um, <laughs> in your career? Oh my gosh, the first one that popped into my head, which I guess is not necessarily like a foolish gotcha mishap, <laughs> but I did Children of Eden <laughs> in oh, okay. community theater a long time ago. I was Yona, but we had this part where we had to sort of like flop down a little bit. Um, and we had like a really quick flop down and I, I flopped down and I looked and I had to freeze there for a couple of minutes and there was a spider <gasps> that far from my nose on the platform that I flopped down on and I had to sit there and watch it. I don't like spiders. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> at all. The only time I'm good with spiders is when there are small children in the room and I have to be the adult. <laughs> Otherwise, somebody else can take care of it. Does that happen Please often? Are you often in rooms with spiders and small children? Uh, well, I, ba I babysit quite often, so <laughs> more often than I'd hope, to be honest. So we should also point out, you were uh, in Once, you were the standby yes. for Girl. Yes, Not her and name? I would say that was a dream role. That yeah. was absolutely... How many times did you get to go on? Um, I went on... I actually had a full week with the bookends of the Sunday before and the Tuesday after. Nice. Which was beautiful. Nice. Um, bless that Jesse Fisher. She's a wonderful actress. So when a you, wonderful person. So when you know you're going on for that long, do you like is it like emergency time for friends and family to get their tickets so that um, you know everyone gets to come to that so you can actually tell people like yeah, on this we whole had week. enough notice for that one. So yeah. that was nice. I got a lot of friends and, and family and people from out of town and people from school. It was great. Did you play piano? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did everyone actually play piano on Wednesday then, right? All oh, the, yes. All the girls. You, didn't, you couldn't fake it? They wouldn't like, there wasn't like a fake slot? Great or? musician. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm impressed. I felt like the worst musician in the room. The pre-show was uh -huh. my favorite thing in the world. Oh, right, yeah. I everyone was like jamming and yeah. Getting, yeah. And there were different songs every night, and so they would rotate them in and through, and everybody had their favorites. And uh, <laughs> Billy wants to know, did Lena Hall and Courtney Wilson give you any advice before playing Nicola? Um... No advice Lena Hall opened the show, hand. went on to win a Tony in yes. Hedway. She's brilliant. Yeah. She's great. Do you know her? <laughs> um, I've gotten to meet her a couple okay. of times, and I actually met her briefly after uh, after one of the shows she came and saw. Oh, awesome. Um, cool. She came to Andy's last performance. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I so is there any advice to the role? Or? Advice before then, um, but really just sort of a... I shared delight in the role. It was very oh, nice. This is a fun supportive. question. Kira wants to know, who's your biggest name drop of people you've worked with? Drop oh. a name. Maybe worked with anyone exciting that we, that we would... I don't know. I, I, I actually get really excited about everybody that Do I've you? been working I know. You're with. super excited. I love that. Um, <laughs> what's my biggest name drop? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. You've done a lot of readings and stuff. I read it's your resume. True, yeah. You, you looked me up before. I looked, I looked you up. I looked you over. <laughs> I get pretty excited about each new show and each new cast, and I've been Brooke pretty lucky said, what's Aaron Finley like? I saw him at Diner at the Delaware Theatre Company. He went in the same night as you? No, actually, he is ending his second week. Oh, okay, right he came, okay, so you started before. Yeah. Okay. So my second week of rehearsals was his first week of rehearsals. Got it. Yeah. What's he's, he like? He's a doll. Yeah. He's so sweet. Um, he's very hardworking. That is a beast of a role. That's an undertaking yeah. right there. Oh my God, he's I know. Been rising to the challenge and so ready to take it on. And yeah. His energy is great. He's awesome. Alec Black wants to know, um, do you get to keep the boots after the run? Probably not. I'm going to find out. <laughs> I want to know too, actually. <laughs> uh, Ky you get a lot of questions. Kira, Kyra, Kira wants to know, what's your favorite musical? Do you have like a, like a go-to? It rotates. It rotates. Okay. Um, do you listen to Broadway music? I do. I actually, I try to listen more to non-musical music. Yeah, to get out of it a little bit. Right. Say, but yeah. Um, what yeah, non-Broadway music do you like? I like um, I like the Decemberists. They're one of my oh. favorites. I was listening to them this morning. Okay. Um, Cranoy, parts one, two, and three. Have a listen. Thank me later. Um, okay. Saint Seneca is great. Um, the Mountain Goats, Frighten Rabbit. I like a lot of a lot of different stuff. You're more worldly than I am. Because I don't even know. David Bowie. David I'm Bowie. A big I know David Bowie. Fan. There we go. <laughs> and I listened to the new Barbara Streisand album. So. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so Broadway, it's pretty good, huh? It's wonderful. Pretty good, you're living the life. Feeling, and you know, uh, what kind of shoes, since your character is so shoe-obsessed, what are you wearing on your feet today? Today I'm How wearing glamorous some is the footwork, because nobody can see it. Ballet flats. Ballet at Brown the ballet. Oh, there we go, full circle, we brought it around. I just want to be mad. <laughs> usually, usually it's flats, though. Usually it's, I like my Vans, I like my Converse. <laughs> uh -huh. Awesome, and how long have you lived in New York? 
I've been in New York four years now. Cool. Yeah, I came from Cleveland. Oh, okay. Cleveland. So did you come here when you were a kid? No, did you I came you? straight out of school, actually. I went to Bob Morales in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh -huh. We do a showcase straight out of school and moved here right after. Oh. I actually had never been to New York City until my junior year of college. Oh. And at that point, I already knew that I was moving. And so I got wow. here and said, hold on. Okay, it works. Yep, it's great. I like it. I'm good. Wow, so, you've, <laughs> so you've had like a you've had a pretty good, successful little Broadway life, haven't Absolutely you? Absolutely lucky and wonderful, and couldn't be happier. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you guys haven't seen Kinky Boots, I mean, I can't imagine. Oh, are there some people who haven't seen Kinky Boots? I guess there are. Yeah, there are people they're probably at the stage store every day. Yeah, there's like and people come from all over the world to see Kinky Boots because it's a Tony-winning musical at the Alhurst called on Forty Fifth Street on the other side of Eighth Avenue. It's true. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that's where my favorite musical I ever played, Grand Hotel. Oh, that, that theater, that, so. Um, the Tony performance. Yeah. Is one of the we'll take a glass videos together. in the world. It's yeah. so Rub good. Rub it up, rub it up, rub it up. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, that, it's, a, it's a magical place. Yes. But Kinky Boots is good too. <laughs> I love Kinky Boots. It is. So, everyone, it's check good. out the show. And it was so nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Too. And Thank you. tomorrow's Summer Friday, so we won't be on live at five, but we'll be back Friday. Monday. <laughs>